Okay, so our project is the Dynamic GPS Driven Transit Scheduling System. The basic, basic principle of our project is that we are going to use GPS data to track a bus more accurately so that the, the users don't have to rely on static scheduling. They can go onto a website or through a text message and get a more accurate uh, estimate of when their bus is going to arrive. So how we did this, we took uh, our project device receives GPS data, which is then relayed to microprocessor to a cell phone, then sent on the wireless cell phone network to a server, which is stored in a database. That data is then accessed through the database and delivered to client through either a mobile device or a website. For the display right now, we actually have a buddy uh, driving around in a vehicle with our device. Essentially, uh, the system shows where he is, and then allows some estimation to any stop. Um, for instance, stop 8. We're going to click the button. And the estimation is returned. we there in 27 minutes and 59 seconds. Um, we can also do a cell phone uh, interface. Obviously, you don't have a computer on you at all times. Uh, you can text uh, just the stop number to uh, bus at bus.com. Send it. Get this back, busing being stop one in seven minutes and 26 seconds. So that's the basic uh, user functionality of it. <laughs> okay, so the problem we addressed was that currently uh, most of these use static time cabling uh, to determine the public transit schedule for the roads. Uh, the problem with this is that it's printed up once a year. Um, it does not actually account any external variables such as weather, construction, detours, etc. So uh, the goal of our project was hence to dynamically create a uh, public transit scheduling system and uh, deliver this to the end user uh, through their website or text messaging. So to accomplish this, what we did, we created a device that we installed on the bus. Basically, the device acquires GPS data. It sends it through the SysTel one time network to a remote server. The server then processes this data um, and creates uh, trend data for each quadrant of the road. Essentially, the, the road is divided into uh, six quadrants. Uh, with this trend data, it can then, uh, through an estimation algorithm, determine estimation to specific stops from the bus's current location on the road. Uh, essentially, the estimation algorithm uh, looks at average travel time. For instance, if you're in quadrant one and the bus stop request is in quadrant five, it'll look at the average travel time uh, for those quadrants. Um, it then looks at the two times through those uh, specific quadrants and says, hey, if it is running 20% slower, uh, this time the estimation will be adjusted by 20%. Uh, this, this estimation is available to the end user through the website catchthatbus.com. Essentially, a user can go onto the site, uh, see the current location of the bus, which actually is in front of the education building right now. Um, they can then select a site, uh, for instance, stop 12. The website then gives an immediate estimation to uh, minutes and seconds to the current location and stop. Right now, the system isn't running, it's just hard for Therefore, you get the system is not currently active or experiencing difficulties. Also, users that have bus stop and is unable to actually use the internet, uh, they can use their cell phone, basic messaging, a message the stop number to bus and head up. <laughs> and then immediately return an estimation through text message with the uh, expected arrival time. Once again, it's the system is not currently active due to the system being parked. We also implemented uh, functionality for the driver to actually assist him uh, in maintaining the desired schedule. This itself has the LCD display keypad input. Uh, the driver is asleep by the real-time road analysis as he uh, drives the back the road. So, uh, when the actual new quadrant, essentially what happens is the server makes an estimation to the next timing point, which is in a stop, uh, with a set departure time that the bus driver must leave. Uh, the server determines if the driver is ahead of schedule or behind schedule based on what time he'll be arriving at the start of the
is then notified of this information on the LCD display. Let's say, for instance, you're running way behind. This allows the driver to compensate, uh, perhaps travel the following several sections of the road uh, slightly faster than normal to maintain the current schedule. We also implemented an admin page for the, for the website, uh, seen here. Essentially, it allows uh, remote users to enter links and expect loggers at specific times of day. For instance, if there's a parade or football game, uh, admins can go in and enter at a day. They estimate that it will be affected uh, roughly 4% slower or whatnot. The best driver for these delays and uh, comes in accordingly. Again, if you know there's a delay in quadrant 4, you're in quadrant 1. Perhaps you travel on several quadrants that'll be faster than normal. Why is the problem